Okay, hi everybody. So, state the monotone convergence theorem and then prove it. A monotone and bounded sequence, and this is important, of real numbers. does converge, or we could say always converges. In other words, there actually exists a limit in the real numbers, okay? Um, compare this to a sequence of rational numbers, and it fails. Okay, this is not part of the theorem. This is sort of in parentheses. Um, also, um, it turns out that that because <clears throat> C is R2, uh, well, okay, anyway, um, this is a sequence, there, or this is a theorem about real numbers, the monotone convergence theorem. Okay, and you'll see, we'll, we'll need to use the one-dimensionalness of this. Okay. Uh, great, okay. Now, what does it mean to be monotone and bounded? Well, there's actually sort of two theorems in here. So let me just sort of expand on this. Um, monotone increasing and bounded above Above. That means that um, there exists some upper bound, maybe called capital U, with x sub n less than or equal to capital of U for all n. Or you could do monotone decreasing and bounded below. There exists some lower bound um, with all the x sub n are actually bigger than that lower bound. And both proofs will proceed similarly. So let's prove um, star. Um, we will prove star. And um, the whole thing can be, you know, this lower one could also be proved uh, very similarly. Okay. Well, what do I mean? A monotone increasing and bounded above um, it does converge. That's what we're going to prove. Um, so let me just do it. Okay, let me just write that. We will prove that a monotone increasing sequence of real numbers um, that is bounded above converges. Okay. Okay, strategy. By definition, of the real numbers, we know that every Cauchy sequence converges. That's just like how the real numbers were, were constructed. We didn't have this number in the rationals, um, so this is false. Um, therefore, we we needed to um, we needed to add it. We needed some number system that did contain this number, and we give that number system a name called the real numbers. That number system is basically all the all the Cauchy sequences that could ever exist, and square root of two um, can be represented as as a Cauchy sequence like the Babylonian square root sequence. Okay, so. By definition of the real numbers, we know that every Cauchy sequence converges. Um, so we will show that x sub n is Cauchy. Okay. So we assume that it's monotone increasing. We assume that it's bounded above. And then we will show that it's Cauchy. So monotone increasing and bounded above implies 
Cauchy, that is what we need to show. Okay, so now what does monotone increasing mean? Um, this means that the next one is bigger than the previous. What does bounded above mean? It means there exists an upper bound. Uh, I don't call it u for upper. Um, it's a real number such that um, the x of n are all less than or equal to u for all n. Okay, so now picture. Here's u. And somewhere is x sub 1, somewhere is x sub 2, somewhere is x sub 3. Oh, nope, that would be wrong because we're monotone increasing. x sub 3 cannot be here. So I have to go this way. x sub 3, x sub 4, x sub 5. And it goes forever and ever. And we don't know where exactly what's happening, but we do know that all of them are smaller than you, okay? Okay, here's the strategy. Strategy. Um, to show Cauchy, we need to show that all of these are eventually inside of, um, within D of each other. Um, to show Cauchy, we need that any pair that any pair like x sub n and x sub m should be within d of each other. Um, uh, we need, well, what's the definition of Cauchy? We need to find capital N such that n and m being past capital N implies that these things are d close. And we need to do this no matter what d. We need to find n that works for any d. For all d. Okay, so the strategy is we are going to step backwards by d. Step back by d. Step backwards by d. Step backwards by d. And we're just going to keep doing that. So like this point right here is u minus d. This point right here is u minus 2d. And so here's, here's the idea. u is an upper bound. Um, either u minus d is an upper bound, is still, is still an upper bound, is still an upper bound, um, or there exists some x sub capital N um, that violates its its non you know that is here, okay? That's inside of here. Some capital x sub N greater than u minus d, uh, and then we'll step another um, either u minus two d is still an upper bound. So, you know, if not, either u minus 2d is still an upper bound, or there exists some x sub n greater than u minus 2d. And proceeding by this, like, um, stepping back from u, um, there will be there will be some k, some number of steps such that um, u minus kd is still an upper bound but u minus one more step is not an upper bound. Uh, and you know that means that means there exists some capital N such that x sub capital N is between them. Okay, but then um, because we're monotone increasing, okay, so where where are we? Um, 
let's say we're here, maybe this is an upper bound. U, maybe u minus 2d is, is still an upper bound, but u minus um, 3d fails to be an upper bound, then there is some x sub capital N. And now we're increasing, right? We're monotone increasing. So x sub n plus 1, 2, they all have to be over here. But uh, u minus 2d was an upper bound, so they can't be over here. They have to be in here, okay? And so just from the picture, and maybe I'll draw it again. Um, you know, here we are at u, and then we step back, step back, step back. Each of these is, is a, a step of length d. Um, eventually, there's u minus kd, um, and there is, and I step by d, and um, this is u minus k plus 1 d. One more step. And there's some x sub capital N, and all the others have to be in here, because this is an upper bound, and this was not an upper bound. And so um, clearly, by the picture, we see that you know for any of the next ones, by increasing, they have to be here. And since this is an upper bound, they can't go past here. And so they're trapped. If n is past n and little m is past capital N, that implies this. Hence, x sub n is Cauchy. Hence, x sub n converges. Since in the real numbers, all Cauchy sequences converge. OK, so you see, we, we really needed it to be increasing um, because then they can't go back this way. And we needed it to be bounded so we could start stepping and, and still have an upper bound um, after some number of steps. OK, and so we needed both hypotheses um, that it be monotone increasing and bounded from above. And I think you can see that if, if we're going to be monotone decreasing and bounded from below, the same thing is going to work. You have a lower bound and you're going to step to the right, step to the right, step to the right, step to the right. Eventually you'll have an upper bound where the next step is not an upper bound, which means there's some X capital N, but now they're coming and marching left because we're monotone decreasing. And uh, then they're, they're again sort of trapped in here. Okay. Uh, this was really important, first of all, to note, to note to the, for the reader that in the real numbers, every Cauchy sequence converges. So if we want to show that a monotone bounded sequence of real numbers converges, all we have to do is show that monotone and bounded implies Cauchy. Try this again yourself um, and just see if, if that picture can help you. You know, we're going to be increasing, but we have an upper bound, so then just step back, step back, step back. And make sure you know that the reals um, have Cauchy implies converges. So all you need to do is prove Cauchy.